Kenji. Awaiting commands. Neutral. Assuming neutral posture. Step. Moving. Crouch. Stabilizing. Taunt. Primary directive. Kill all humans. Crouch. Stabilizing. So what's going on guys? This is Project Denji. So Denji is a 17 degree of field bipedal robot. Um, the purpose of this project was to take an off the shelf robotics kit. These can be found on eBay or AliExpress and then use a Raspberry Pi and Maestro servo controller to control uh, its movements. So normally the kits that you get are they're provided with these PWM controllers which are hooked to, to a PS2 controller and the functionality is somewhat limited and you're not really able to extend the capability of the platform really easily but using the Raspberry Pi we can do a lot of cool things with that so let's go ahead and talk about the design first off let's talk about these kits so like I said you can find them on eBay and AliExpress um, as always, all the parts for the projects on my channel, they'll be listed in the description. I'll, you, that's where you can find all the affiliate links. And definitely a link to my website, which has a more detailed build log if you're curious about, uh, you know, if you want to go ahead and try to make one yourself. So the kits, um, you know, average roughly like $300. And one thing to note is there's very poor documentation on how to get these physically set up. So I went ahead and documented my build so you can go ahead and look on the website if you do decide to go down that route. But you can get them assembled but they're, they cost a little bit more. So moving on to the controller and how that works, um, if you're unfamiliar with the components we're using. I made a previous tutorial on the Maestro servo controller so definitely watch that video to get a better understanding of the sort of workflow but essentially we have a Raspberry Pi Zero that's connected to the Maestro servo controller. I believe this is an 18 channel and that's connected to all these LDX227 servos um, which brings us to how is it being powered. So as you can see here, I have it hoisted right now and this is purely for um, development purposes. It's much easier to program its movement if it's hoisted up, but I have taken it off the, the hoist and it does walk. Um, so it is somewhat balanced, but it's not self-balancing. Um, right now I have it hooked up to two power supplies. So I have this linear DC power supply which um, supplies roughly 7.4 volts to the Maestro servo controller and that's distributed across all of these servos um, because if you look at the spec sheet that's what they're rated at and I also have a separate power supply that feeds 5 volts into the Raspberry Pi. So eventually I'm going to be moving all this into a LiPo battery setup. Um, I'm currently waiting for the parts to ship here so that's why it's not finalized as of yet but once I do get everything done I will update the website um, so yeah let's head over to the computer and I'll sort of run through the code at a you know sort of a high level to give you an idea of how everything interacts I definitely focus more on simplicity than performance um, just to make it easier for everyone to understand and really this is just a proof of concept so I've navigated to the Denji repository and this is essentially what you'll be presented with. Um, below here in the README section there's more information about the project as well as some more um, setup details. Uh, the three main scripts that we are going to be concerned with is this Denji client.py, Denji uh, server.py, and this uh, Denji Maestro script.txt. So this is essentially the um, all the 
recorded movements for the biped that are essentially sequences of movements and this is what you'll upload to your maestro controller using the Hulalu uh, software so most likely you're gonna have to go and edit this file but you can go ahead and use it for testing purposes um, so let's dig into the server and client script so at a high level the server.py is essentially a rest API um, so if we look through this workflow when we initiate the script the the script will go ahead and pull the Raspberry Pi's IP address and then we'll use that to start the uh, Flask RESTful service and essentially what I've done here is I've mapped different endpoints to call different subroutines defined in that uh, maestro uh, text file so for example if we hit the slash step endpoint it calls the step subroutine so this will make uh, Denji take a step and I've done that for all these other endpoints as well so you have like the crouch endpoint the taunt and the neutral position and they all call these uh, corresponding subroutines so on the client side um, when we so we run this script on a different computer so for example I'm running this on another Raspberry Pi but you can run it on uh, another like Linux based machine uh, via the terminal um, so when this starts it will use nmap to scan your local area network for Denji's hostname so this is whatever you define uh, the hostname of that Raspberry Pi to be and that it will return the IP assuming that it's on the network and we're using that to um, determine the REST API uh, URL, like populate that, um, because I'm just making the assumption that your both devices are not statically assigned, that you're using DHCP so that your IP address can app IP addresses can change. Um, so after that's done, uh, end curses starts this is sort of your infinite loop of just waiting for input so I've defined different keys to um, kick off different requests so for example if I hit W that is the that'll call the slash step endpoint and it will actually make Denji take a step forward um, you know ask is mapped to the neutral endpoint C to crouch T to taunt and then Q when you hit Q it'll just end this loop and exit the script so pretty basic stuff um, just using you know uh, microservices architecture here to you know really simplify the the interaction between Denji and the user and also make it really extensible and it's also super super quick and easy to modify and so yeah, that's pretty much everything I think you need to know from a coding perspective. Some features I plan to implement in the future is to add a gyroscope for one thing. So this allows us to measure the change in uh, direction, I believe. Um, so we can detect, you know, if it's uh, if the robot's about to fall, and then you know counteract that, as well as um, implement a camera. So you can think of these two new features as sensors and then, you know, we can definitely try to <laughs> integrate machine learning and AI. So the hope is we can teach Denji to, to teach itself, essentially, which will be really cool. So how to get started. Um, my recommendation is to definitely go to the description below, click on my website. Um, link. There's information on all the parts, how to physically set it up, where the, it lists the some other references such as the Maestro controller uh, setup and there's definitely uh, a Git project as well with all the code and within that Git there's some more documentation and details on how to get your Pi set up and all that uh, but that's definitely going to be updated as well as time goes along. 
Um, so yeah, that's the first thing that you need to do is go to the website. Um, like I said many times before, I covered how to set up the Maestro controller. That's the core component of this build. So definitely take a look at that video as well. It'll be listed in the description too. And you know, I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions. Um, but just keep in mind that this is still a work in progress, but I'll do my best to address any questions you have. But then again, I am very busy, so I can't really commit to answering every question you guys post. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this project. This is uh, definitely part one, so stay tuned and definitely you know, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys. Peace.